Welcome back to the workshop dojo. Now, I recently bought a, a Festool, of course, of course it was a Festool. A Festool TID 18 impact driver. Now, um, I bought it for a couple of different reasons, but primarily um, I bought it for uh, the construction of my shed. Uh, the video for that, I'll leave in the description there. Um, I had an impact driver, but it was on its last legs and I need a new one. So, you know, I'm a Festool guy, so I decided let me buy the impact driver from Festool. Anyway, so I bought this. Now, to my surprise, um, when I went to put the bit in it, it didn't, well, it fits, but it doesn't lock, okay? This is like a, this is a standard, sta, a sta, a standard Festool bit. Um, so that was problem number one. Um, and so I realized that the, the uh, business end of it is a standard size. It's the standard bit size that all the other, all the other manufacturers do. So it does take regular bits. So I thought that I would get the, uh, the Festool bit adapter. Now, you're asking, why would I do that? Okay, so number one, okay, it locks in perfectly. Okay, number two, oh, and this is, this is actually really nice. Let me show you this. Okay, so what happens is, is that, Okay, so this is the this is the bit. What happens is is that when you put the bit in and you press it in, it locks. So the bit locks, okay? How many times have you been somewhere and you're you're do, you're doing some work with your bit even though these are magnetic, what happens is is that they get locked in the screws, then you pull out your drill, your impact driver, only to find that the bit comes out and then it just drops somewhere and then you literally can't find it. So uh, I thought to myself, yep, yeah, okay, that is a great example. So I, did, I, I couldn't actually find any reviews of, of this, this bit holder. So this is basically what we're gonna be reviewing. Okay, so, so what happens is, is that this, this just clicks out, okay, your, your bit comes out and you put it in, you press it in and it locks. So it's like a locking bit. Now, along with the, the bit, you actually get some heads, only to find out that, and I didn't know this, okay? When you're using an impact driver, you need an impact rated bit because what will happen is the bit heads will shear. I didn't know that, I mean, to be honest with you, have any of my previous bits sheared? Probably not. Um, but then again, I haven't really, um, uh, uh, really stressed them out a lot. So I thought to myself, okay, what the hell? Let me just get a uh, uh, the impact um, rated bits as well at the same time. I mean, it basically kind of comes as a as a kit, so you can buy them all together which is just like a really, really handy. Um, it, it is very nice, it works well, okay? It does what it's supposed to do. Um, of course, it's expensive compared to everything else, but that's nothing new with Festool, of course. Uh, you, 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 go, you go down the Festool rabbit hole, you just have to accept that they're gonna be expensive, but it is good. It's very nice. It's, it's, it's very, very well made. I love the rubber around the side. It just means that you can just pull it out without it kind of slipping through your hands and going back. So it just kind of, it just like allows you to just pull that out. So very, very well designed. Okay, well thought out as always with Festool. Um, keep in mind, okay, this is the, um, uh, the C18. Okay, keep in mind that it will not fit in the Festool 
ecosystem. Okay, so just keep, just keep in mind, this is only for the impact driver because the heads, uh, the quick release heads on the normal Festool drills and the impact driver are not the same. Okay, um, certainly on these versions. I believe Festool is, is actually releasing newer versions of these or they have already released newer versions of these. Basically, the, bit, the bits won't go in. Okay, and, and the adapter will not go in and it will only go into the impact driver. So keep that in mind, okay, impact driver, you kind of got to go down the rabbit hole of the impact driver when you're in the Festool ecosystem. Obviously, if you're outside, it makes no difference, but basically you're in the ecosystem of Festool, impact driver, all your bits ain't gonna fit, it, it's completely different. So they just presuppose that you're only gonna be using like a couple of things effectively with this. Anyway, um, that's just a quick review of it. Um, uh, do I like it? Yep, of course, it works well. It does what it says on the tin. Um, uh, it, 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 it does what I expect it to do. Anyway, uh, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you on the next Workshop Dojo video.